Hi everybody, welcome back. Happy Independence Day. Um, now, I'm British. I've done a British flag in the past. I'll um, put the video link in the description of this video if you want to see the Union Jack in fluid art. Um, but one of my best, best friends is American. So um, I just feel it right. I'm going to do a fluid art um, American flag. Um, so really excited. I've got lots of good plans buzzing around my head for this pour. Um, really excited to get started. So let's let's go. canvas size I'm using is a 50 centimetre by 40 centimetre. Now the flag, the American flag, is longer. So the dimensions of this, this painting are not going to be quite right. They're going to be um, slightly different because it's not long enough. Um, it's a more square canvas than the flag. So I'm going to be changing a few things. I've put frog tape down. I've measured that. I know there are 13 um, red and white stripes on the flag so I'm going to stick with that I've measured those out and put frog tape um, this box here will obviously have the will be the stars or star I may just do one big star I'm not sure yet um, where the tape is it's going to be red where the gaps are it's going to be white now one big difference or one 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 thing I'm going to do wrong is that this line here will be or this sorry this line here will be white and that should it shouldn't be it should be red that goes into the bottom of this blue box here so it's not true um to real life it's going to be different um what i'm going to do now is do the white stripes i'm also going to do this in white because what my idea is is to then paint the outline of the star once the white has dried and then paint in the blue so i'm going to do one big star instead of the 50 stars i'm going to do one big star um, that's my plan at the moment. It might change as I as I get pouring. Um, so my white, um, obviously I don't want to just do plain white because it's fluid art and I want to make it a bit more interesting and a bit more fun. So I've got some, I've got mixed here. I've got some white, I've got some silver um, by Pebio and some pearl black by, who is that by? Dale Rowney, graduate acrylic and the white is Montmartre white. So my, what I'm planning on doing is drizzling some of the colours over and then swipe and putting some silicon in and then swiping it so it's going to be subtle but i'm going to get some little white silver and black cells the black i'm only going to put a very very small amount on i'm using this is the oil i'm using coconut milk hair serum so i'm just going to put a couple of drops into each color in fact i put three into the white there and give it a good mix around so it's going to be a swipe so i'm going to get some little cells but they're going to be reasonably subtle because the majority of this will be silver and white. Just to try and show you the consistency, it's mixed three to two, three parts PVA pouring medium to two parts paint. Um, so you can see there's some thickness to it. It does leave a trail. Oh, there's a lump of something there. Let's get that out. Um, it's leaving a trail. Oh, there's another lump. I saw something go in from the, the, lid, the cap of the... From the, uh, the edge of the bottle actually so it's yeah it leaves a trail but not for very long so it's relatively um fluid relatively runny um so i'm going to literally just drizzle this on So there's still a few little bald bits of canvas. So all I'm going to do now is dab it. That will help to smooth the paint out slightly. Makes all the sure all the canvas is covered. And then I'll be able to swipe it much more easily because it will be quite a smooth surface of paint. So I'm now going to swipe it. I'm going to use just a piece of tissue paper of um, kitchen paper. So I'm just going to spray it very gently with water. That just makes it a bit heavier and it will help it to stick to the paint better. So 
so it's not saturated it's not dripping wet but it is it's it is wet right i'm going to start with this one so i'm just going to place that like that and then it's contacting nicely and then i'm just going to drag this roughly parallel with the with the um the lines with the tape like that right all my swiping is done so far i'm really happy with this because it's white and it's subtle um but i will only know when, when i torch it whether my plan has worked whether i'm going to get a little bit of subtle variation there were a few cells popping up already which look fab so i'm hopeful that this is going to work so i'm just going to torch it now see what happens see what cells i get up Just look at the little cells. They are perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. So really pale. They're definitely white stripes, but they're not plain white. They've just got that really subtle um, variation in them. Just subtle detail. Absolutely perfect. I'm really, really happy with this. Um, so when this is dry, I will then put tape over the white bits and then do exactly the same with the red. So I'll have some some different reds um, so to create something really similar, but in the reds um, in the gaps. I'm now ready to start the red stripes. These are the, uh, the four colours I'm using. So I've got Amsterdam Carmine, Amsterdam Bronze, Amsterdam Pyrrole Red and Montmartre Old Mauve. So red colours. This is the colour that I want to predominate. I just feel that that's a really, it's just a nice rich red. This red is a little bit orange. So I want the stripes to be mostly this colour but just with a little bit of the these colours in, just some really pretty cells with, just so I've got a bit of variation. So I've got all the colours there, they're ready. Oh, excuse my shoes and my children's shoes in the background. Um, so my canvas looks different. I've, um, so I peeled off the, the tape to reveal the white stripes. I've then covered the white stripes in more frog tape. And then I've just used a little bit of white paint with my finger and I've pushed it into the, to, to where the, the tape meets the canvas because I want it to seal. It's slightly wet there still, so I need to wait for that to dry. Um, but by putting a little bit of paint on, I'm hoping that will seal it so that the red now won't go underneath this tape. And I've used white deliberately because if the white goes under, obviously that's, that's pretty okay because the stripe is white. So I'll let that dry. Um, then I'm going to repeat exactly what I did before. I'm going to drizzle the paint on, um, torch it, um, and hope for some pretty cells again.
it's worked really happy just look at the subtlety of it you've got the cells you've got the interest in it but it's red there's no dispute that these stripes are red but if you look up close there's just lots of beautiful variations um, so just hope this dries well um, and then the bit that I will be really nervous about is taking up the tape um, and make just to see how the white and the red look next to each other I just hope that they they haven't bled I hope I can pull the tape up neatly um, fingers crossed So all the tape is now removed, so now it's the blue part. So I was going to do one really big star here, um, but then my American friend pointed out that actually that's for a, that actually then makes the flag for a totally different country, um, so that ex already exists. So I'm now going to my second plan, which is to do 50 stars. So um, if you can see, I drew some boxes. So I've worked out um, that I needed to have 11 across, and then nine up here. So I've done, I've just um, marked it out with pencil, these gray boxes so that there are um, enough boxes to put the stars in. I then drew a little cardboard um, a star. I did a few actually, because I couldn't get it right. And then I have just drawn around it. So I think this makes 50 times. I haven't actually counted, but the number by the number of stars is, should be correct. So my plan now, it's gonna take me ages, but is to paint in between with the blue so then i've got these lovely plain white stars um that are left with the fluid art pattern in so nothing special about the blue i'm just painting um and it's just going to take me ages so let's get started So it's now finished, it's now dry, so happy. Absolutely love it. I love how precise it is. Um, a lot of fluid art isn't precise. So just look at how crisp these edges are. Absolutely love how bright and crisp that is uh, with red and white. Perfect, perfect straight lines and stripes, all thanks to that wonderful frog tape that I've used. Um, the details are beautiful. So this is exactly what I wanted. Something, that, some detail and pattern that's there, but it's not too obvious. So you have that in both the white and the red. So little flecks of bronze there coming through and you can see the variation in the red. Um, really, really pretty. Exactly what I was trying, wanted to achieve. And then to show you the blue, so I did two coats of the blue, and as you can see, it's a bit patchy. I decided I really liked that. I didn't actually want to go for a third coat because I think it actually ties in with the sort of the patchiness of the red and white. So to have it totally solid, well, I, I could have done, but I actually think I prefer it like this. Um, and as you can see, all the stars, I've just gone around the outside in a white Posca pen. So you've got the pretty cells, the fluid art within the stars, but I've just tried to crisp it up a little bit by going around with a Posca pen. Um, so I'm over the moon with the result. I just, I, as I said, I just love the crispness and the neatness of it. And you don't often get that with fluid art, with, with any kind of abstract art. So um, <clears throat> yeah, really, really happy with how this has turned out. Um, so if you celebrate um, Independence Day, happy Independence Day, everyone. Um, let me know what you think. Please leave me any thoughts, any comments. Please hit the thumbs up button um, if you've enjoyed watching this video or if you, if you like the painting. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.